Environmental pollution is not a recent phenomenon, but it continues to be the biggest threat to humanity and the main factor in environmental illness and mortality. Urbanization, industrialization, mining, and exploration are human activities that have had the greatest impact on worldwide environmental pollution. While awareness and stricter legislation in richer countries have helped to a greater extent in conserving their environment, both developed and developing countries share this burden. Environmental pollution is steadily rising and has a negative influence on all living things, including people. Microorganisms and plants have biosynthetic pathways for the accumulation or breakdown of environmental contaminants from soil and water can minimize it. One of a major issue is water contamination, particularly plastic pollution. Not just the ocean, but also rivers, streams, lakes, and ponds suffer from pollution. This makes it a problem without a universally applicable remedy. According to a team of Chinese scientists from Sichuan University in southwest China, Robot fish that eat microplastics could one day help to clean up the world's polluted oceans. These robots, which are soft to the touch and only 1.3 centimeters, 0.5 inch, in size, are already sucking up microplastics in shallow water. The team hopes to be able to collect microplastics in deeper water and provide real-time data to analyze marine pollution. A light shine on the black robot fish, causing it to flap its fins and wiggle its body. Scientists can use light to control the fish and keep it from colliding with other fish or ships. Being constructed of polyurethane, which is also biocompatible, it can be safely digested if it is unintentionally consumed by other fish. Even when it is hurt, the fish can recover by absorbing pollutants. It can swim faster than the majority of artificial soft robots, up to 2.76 body lengths per second. There was another invention. A robot fish that filters microplastics has been invented at the University of Surrey. The robot fish has gills that it uses to filter water as it swims and is about the size of a salmon. Fish are adapted to their environment, and gills are an incredible mechanism in nature that are specialized to filter oxygen into the bloodstream. The design has been adapted from that, with the purpose of creating a filter for microplastics instead. The robot moves through the water by flapping its tail and holding its mouth open to catch water and microplastics in an internal cavity. When the cavity inside the bot is full, it closes its mouth, opens its louver-like gill flaps, and raises the cavity's floor to force the water out through the flaps. The gill flaps are covered with a tiny mesh that lets water through but traps plastic debris. A particle as small as 2 millimeters can already be captured by the 50 centimeters in, long robofish. It contains built-in sensors to measure turbidity and underwater light levels in addition to an inertial measuring unit for tracking its movements in the water. Also, it is illuminated at night. Okay then. We have reached to the end of this short video. Hope you've collected something valuable for your knowledge. All the references are in the description. Stay tuned for more videos like this. Have a nice day. Stay safe.